What's up everybody, Rick Wagner here, giving you guys a tour of my basement gym. Uh, not exactly a garage gym, but uh, the basement gym. As you can see here, I got plenty of room, uh, have eight foot ceilings, so no uh, real problem with me being five foot seven, can do thrusters, and uh, you'll see a little bit later, I, I can do uh, pull-ups, no problem here as well. First off, we got the C2 rower, a uh, little bench action. Uh, my the rogue echo bike uh, pretty much all you need for um, killing yourself with uh, cardio and uh, warm-up or cool down you can see I got a couple uh, horse to stall mats there three of them I've been meaning to buy a few more of those but they're such a pain in the butt to uh, transport down the stairs and from the store I've been that's a workout in and of itself we got a couple different uh, PVC pipes and stuff like that jump ropes uh, probably too many jump jump ropes but uh, whiteboard action, uh, dumbbells and med balls. Uh, I've kind of collected this stuff over a number of years. I have from a four all the way up to a 25. Got some various 50, 35, 25 dumbbells, some kettlebells. Uh, my newest purchase here, the fractional plates. Uh, usually more expensive than they should be, but I found a pretty good deal online. And uh, going through here, my uh, inspiration, we got Evil Knievel, Teddy Roosevelt, and Josh Bridges. What more do you really need than those three guys? And here we got a uh, sandbag, uh, weight vest, a uh, punching bag that I've never really honestly used besides hitting it a few times, but it's camouflage and it was uh, used and a good price, so I picked it up. And here we have one of the one of three pull-up stations that I have set up with the straps to the uh, I-beam with uh, some rings there and everything like that. So plenty of room, just not the most convenient for kipping pull-ups since it starts swinging around on you. My latest uh, acquisition, the Rogue Dog Sled, absolutely love it. Um, I c you'd be hard pressed to find a Rogue product that isn't uh, top notch and you know find somebody that was disappointed with the purchase. Got some pirouette bars, uh, Roman chair with a little dip station. Uh, my uh, boxes that I uh, built myself, various weights, uh, another sandbag. I think that has a hundred pounds in it. And then uh, we got Tia Claire Toomey. I think that was 2019, I want to say, in Madison, of course, uh, killing it. She probably won that event. And then my various whiteboards with different uh, things that I want to do. This year, one of my goals is to uh, do Angie to Grace, all the different uh, girl workouts. I did Angie earlier this week and uh, it delivered. Uh, that was a tiff, tough one. And then various weights. Uh, I got the Rogue plates. I got some Titan plates. I think I have, again, faster ones as well. And a couple others, a few uh, technique bars and a women's bar that we just picked up. And uh, if we make our way out here, you can see an old uh, classic Schwinn Airdyne there. Uh, kind of the predecessor before uh, I dropped the coin on the Rogue Echo bike. But if we go outside here, also have an outdoor area with uh, two different pull-up bars. This one is a little bit shorter. I'm actually gonna have to raise it up. Uh, my daughter's now almost as tall as me, uh, but it was set up for her working out. She's, her and I have been working out in the basement since she was probably 12. And then I have another pull-up bar here that I accidentally bought the wrong diameter uh, fixtures. And so now it's a wider grip uh, pull-up bar. So kind of a blessing in disguise. Out here you can see, you can kind of see the frozen tundra here of Wisconsin in February. Uh, there's a pond out there, and uh, from where I'm standing, round trip, it's about 150 meters there and back, so a nice, with a nice little hill, which is always good for warm-up and some interval workouts. And then I have this area here up to the deck there is uh, approximately, I think, 9 or 10 feet, and that's where I do all my um, wall balls and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, just uh, that's my home gym and uh, hope you enjoy. Take care.